In November 2022, OpenAI launched ChatGPT, which became widely popular. With artificial intelligence taking over a lot of the creative industries, including video editing, filmmaking, audio editing, podcast, and writing, I have decided to test AI in medicine. But what exactly is ChatGPT, and what has it got to do with a medical student like me? Let's ask ChatGPT itself. ChatGPT is a language model developed by OpenAI and it can generate human-like text which helps us in answering questions, writing and even for translating into different languages. In this video, I'm going to experiment and see how ChatGPT could help medical students in any way. I'm gonna test ChatGPT on its skills of diagnosis with helping me with objective type of questions. I'm also gonna see if it could help us with illustrations and even actual descriptive answers which are asked on our examinations. But before that, let's see if ChatGPT could help a common man get to his diagnosis based on his symptoms. And also, let's see if ChatGPT could help in the management. What we see here is that ChatGPT does give out a set of possible diagnoses based upon the symptoms that we provide. However, unlike a real doctor, it cannot run investigations and it also cannot take a complete history or ask leading questions. As a result, ChatGPT cannot give a definitive diagnosis. Let's ask ChatGPT if it could help us manage our flow. As we can see here, ChatGPT is in fact giving out a good set of instructions to follow at home and also at the same time, it is encouraging us to seek medical advice or professional help, which is actually a good thing. Now let's analyze if ChatGPT could help us with something more serious which requires an early intervention. Let's say for example, stroke. Let's ask ChatGPT about stroke. As we can see here, ChatGPT is unable to ask us leading questions or conduct examinations or run investigations and as a result it cannot come into a definitive diagnosis. But even in this scenario, it has given us a possible diagnosis of stroke. Most importantly, it has urged us to immediately consult the doctor or go to the emergency room as soon as possible. Which is the best advice as early interventions in stroke could be life changing. Finally, let's see if ChatGPT could help the common man learn more about the medications prescribed to them by a doctor. Wow, as we can see here, ChatGPT has explained the class of drug, the conditions in which it is taken, and also about the dosage forms. And the best part which I liked about ChatGPT is that it advises us to follow the instructions of the doctor and also in case if we have any questions or concerns we must consult the doctor or pharmacist with that we end testing chat gpt for a common man now let's see how chat gpt could help the medical students i'm also going to rate it on a score of five on the basis of these parameters so let's get started Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Myself, Omar Muhammad, and I'm currently doing my third year of MBBS at Government Medical College, Calicut. If you're new to this channel, do hit the subscribe button. So let's begin by testing the diagnostic ability of ChatGPT. And for this purpose, I have taken up one of the questions which are asked in USMD, which is the United States uh, Medical Licensing Examination. So let's get started with it. Let's see if ChatGPT would actually give us a diagnosis. Just summarize this question here. We have a 39 year old who has come to the physician because of a six month history of progressive shortness of breath, which is dyspnea. And he also has a history of cough productive with sputum for two years. He's a smoker for 16 years. So all of these findings in the examination and the investigation findings, they are giving us a diagnosis of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Now let's put this question into ChatGPT and let's see if ChatGPT could give us the diagnosis accurately. Wow, as you can see here, not only does ChatGPT give you the diagnosis with accuracy, it also gives you the explanation as to why it has reached there. This is truly remarkable as now we can just put out these law questions and get not just instant answers but also get the reasons as to why we get to that solution. I have actually tried this with a few other questions and each time I got a perfect diagnosis. So in a rating of 5, I would actually give it a kind of 4.5 to 5. I do not know if it has ever gone wrong. So that's why I'm going to put it at 4.5 to 5. Next up, let's test the objective type of questions and see if ChatGPT could actually help us to get the answers in multiple choice questions. Here we have the case of an elderly man who has come to the physician because of a six-month history of urinary hesitancy and dribbling. 
He also has to urinate two to three times during the night. Physical examination shows an enlarged, firm, and non-tender prostate. So this is a case of benign prostatic hyperplasia, which is a condition which is common amongst the elderly males. Now the MCQ is which is the most likely contributor to this condition. Among the options that we have here, the correct one is option B, that is the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone. Let's see if ChatGPT could give us an accurate answer this time. What we find here is that ChatGPT has got the diagnosis that it explains that this is a case of benign prosthetic hyperplasia. And now it has also given us the answer that is the primary contributing factor to the development of BPG is an increase in the level of dihydrotestosterone. Therefore, the correct answer is B. As we can see, just like the diagnostic questions, ChatGPT is pretty good with these kind of questions as well. So once again, I would give a rating of 4.5 in this section. ChatGPT has performed well in the first two sections. So now we are moving on to the next section where we are actually trying to see whether ChatGPT could come up with no descriptive answers to the kind of questions which are asked in the Indian scenario where we will actually have to write descriptive answers in the form of essays or short essays. And for this matter, I'm going to ask ChatGPT one of the previous year questions and let's see if it could come up with a two page essay. Let's ask ChatGPT if it would come up with a 50 mark essay on the topic of gastric secretion and its different phases. I need an essay which is at least two A4 papers long. What we are witnessing here is that ChatGPT is able to give us long answers in a four essays. The essay is pretty good. It has explained about the different phases of gastric secretion and what regulates it. However, this is still quite not the way we write for our examinations. Maybe I guess there are better options to optimize these answers by asking better questions than what I did in this video. But for now, I would give this a 3.5 out of 5. Let's see if ChatGPT could help us with diagrams or illustrations, the kind of which we use in our examinations. So let's test that. Being a chatbot, ChatGPT is unable to give us illustrations, but even in this scenario, it has been able to provide us with a description of the anterior relations of kidney. I truly believe that AI will revolutionize medicine, no doubt about that. I think that it has the potential to give out a much more accurate diagnosis than what a human mind could give with its best proficiency. Also, it has the ability to process information of thousands of patients within seconds tirelessly, which makes AI a really powerful tool. However, we are yet to see the extent of how much AI will change our lives for the future. At present, what we do know is that AI is currently transforming a lot of the creative industries. One drawback which I found is the lack of authenticity and scholarship. ChatGPT does not give the references or source from where it gets its information, which means that it cannot be compared to a scholarly work. I also believe that in the future we are going to face a problem where it will be difficult to differentiate between real and virtual work. I believe that the difference between the real world and the virtual world will shrink even further. Even prominent people like Elon Musk has warned us about the potential dangers of AI. So that's it for this video. These are some of my final thoughts. Thank you for watching. See you soon in the next video.